Okay, let's start. Okay, today we are going to do chicken teriyaki, but it's an improvised version. Of course, the most important thing is chicken. Okay, I use chicken drumstick. So the chicken drumstick is kind of small, so I have to debone it. Normally, I debone chicken. You can also use a chicken leg, you know, the big ones, the L shaped ones, the chicken leg. So you can use the chicken leg as well, debone it. Okay, that will be a bigger piece. If chicken leg, you can use about two piece. This portion is roughly about for two people. And then you need soy sauce. Oyster sauce. Honey. I don't use sugar, I use honey. Okay, this one I use honey. Salt. Rice wine. Toasted sesame seed. The white ones. And just some garlic. You don't have to cut it too fine. Just cut it this way. And you need some uh, ginger. Ginger, you can either slice it or something. Not too much, okay? You don't have to be too much. So now I need to debone the chicken. Just slide. You know the bone is here, right? Just slide a bit across. Then move around your chicken bone. Just cut it like that. And be careful with your hand. So you can see the bone, right? So just work around the bones. See, it's open up. You just slide one line here at the center, then you just move, and then just scrape down the meat. Okay, then if you can, you can just pull it. So you see, this part will come off, then you just cut it off. For the meat, you want the taste to go in faster. Some people will say you can just... Uh, and make sure it's open up like that. Because you know when you fry it, the chicken will shrink like that. So you don't need to shrink and you want the taste to go in faster, easier, evenly. Just, you know, just slice through like lightly. Don't cut it, just slide through like that. So the meat will be like, you know, you can also do a cross shape if you want. Okay, so the meat, later when you fry, it will not shrink too much. Okay, here I already have a ginger. This is just for uh, example, because I already done it here. So ginger, you can just, you know, simply cut it whatever size you want, because it's only for the taste. And then just put the chicken in. Just pour some salt to taste. This is for like marination, just marinate. Leave it for at least about 30 minutes. You just need the salt taste to go into the chicken. So I'm going to do the sauce now. Soy sauce. I use about 6 teaspoons. Ah, oh, sorry, 6 tablespoons. Then we use... Uh, Oyster sauce. I use four tablespoons of oyster sauce. Then honey. Stir it again. Taste it first. Lastly, put in your rice wine. I'll use about two tablespoons. If you're going to use oven, all right, preheat the oven to 180 Celsius, okay? Once the temperature is reached, then you can bung the chicken in. How do you bung the chicken in? You just put this mixture into this thing, the chicken. Marinate it, leave it for about 2 hours, 3 hours or overnight if you want to. Take the chicken out, put it into the oven. And cook it for about 30 to 45 minutes, depends on your oven, how old or how new it is. So that way it's easier. Fire go down low because I want to pan fry the chicken skin. So you actually face the chicken skin down. So you can pan fry it until it's a bit golden brown and crispy. Take off this, uh, what do you call this? This uh, ginger. So, well, skin down.
So now you can check whether it's like brown. Then a bit burnt, but it's fine. So when it's like that, just flip over to the other side. Okay, now waiting for this to cook the other side, not entirely, okay? If the other side is turning white, like that, okay, put in your garlic. Don't burn the garlic, okay? Don't burn it, I just need the fragrance of the garlic, not burning it. So I'm not using any oil, I'm using the chicken oil itself from the steam, okay? Once you can smell garlic coming out from the, you know, from the wok, the garlic smell, you can start to put in your sauce. And then add a bit of water, cover into, under like, cover like half of the chicken. Because I want the water to be like, later I'll cover up and simmer. Then after that I'll flip again the chickens. So just not too much because it will thicken later we just cover waiting time but if you are not confident lower your heat always lower your heat and then check constantly okay see the sauce already thickened thicken up okay thicken up flip Lower down your heat again. See the sauce actually thickens up. See? Well you can see. Okay. Yeah. So just continue to cook. Until it thickens a bit more. So I just flip side, okay? To lower the heat, the purpose is not to burn the bottom because it's going to thicken and thicken and then it will burn eventually if your fire is too high it will burn so the sauce eventually will thicken up like that see it's very gooey it'll be like that so it's kind of gooey now okay, okay. that's why I asked you to lower the heat if too much will burn once it burns it will become very bitter Then plate your chicken. So just a simple plating, okay? Not really like fancy fancy because I don't have like. So the chicken skin can go up. So you want some sauce, you can take it from the top here. Okay, if you let's say like this is like how it looks like, okay? Teriyaki. So chicken teriyaki, done.